What'd you call um, Tucker the other day? You called him the White Farrakhan? Yeah. Chad, is that accurate? Because you know about this Tucker guy. Put ones in the chat if, if he's y'all White Farrakhan. The right wing's White Farrakhan. Is he that impactful? Put ones in the chat if that's true. You seen him? He put a video on Twitter, 60 million views, man. 60 million fucking views, bro. What'd he say? I tried to watch the motherfucker, but my ADD was kicking in. Oh, come on, man. Like, he didn't get anything specific. Right. You know, he was like generalizing about change and stuff like that and things of like that nature. Yeah. He said, I'll talk to you soon and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, very open-ended uh, interpretation, I think. Um, yeah, that's why my ADD kicked in, because I'm like, this is bullshit. I see a lot of ones, man. Damn. Tucker was that impactful? There is hope. See you soon. All right, so what am I supposed to do with that? Hmm? Y'all thought that was special? Chat, y'all thought that was special? Chat? I need to, I need chat to weigh in. Well, you can't look at it from your eyes, man. You have to look at it from Normie's eyes. Well, that's why I'm asking the chat. Well, the chat's not Normie's, but... But what do you mean? How? how if why? you look at it from Normie's eyes, you um, know, there's... I think that a lot of Normies don't want to accept the uniparty thing. You know what I mean? To everybody that got some goddamn sense or pays attention, you know, the Uniparty, like, uh, discussion has been, like, around for a minute, you know what I mean? But to the boomers and um, the true believers that actually think there's a difference between Republicans and Democrats, you know what I mean, uh, at the high levels, you know, this is a big, this is probably a big thing come from, uh, coming from him. Uh, interesting. Okay. The uniparty thing was that's that's probably a big thing. I could see that. Okay, I could see that. I'm not white enough to understand Tucker Carlson. I'm not. You know, like when when white people you know tell me you know the people they listen to. I just you know, I'm not saying they're wrong, you know, for listening to these people or it's bad. You know, it's like. Uh, it's like, uh, what's a good comparison? Who do I listen to that white people probably wouldn't want to listen to? Drink Champs, right? I love a good Drink Champs podcast, right? <laughs> now your average white person would be like, why the hell are you watching this shit, right? And I would ask them the same thing about Tucker or Crowder or somebody else. Like, why the hell y'all watch this shit? This shit is really boring. So I don't think I'm, I'm white enough to understand Tucker. Or the appeal, or I'm just not interested in the things these people talk about. I think that's what it comes down to. Like the things that people online argue about, I'd be like, "Y'all arguing about this?" I don't know. Okay, you say so. I'm not taking anything away from the voices, right? I'm not taking anything away from Tucker. I just don't get it. Um. Now you, on the other hand. Mr. Only Black Man in Exeter, Pennsylvania. This is a black man from Exeter, Pennsylvania. You understand white folks. Especially them Fox white folks. So you tell us, Mayo Whisperer. <laughs> and you got some nerve. As much time you've been on Fox, you got some nerve talking about <laughs> Like, who the fuck is you to be talking this shit? <laughs> I don't know who these white folks watch on Fox. <laughs> You. <laughs> Listen, I'm still learning the game, all right? I'm trying to understand, so when I go back on here, I know what the fuck to say. I know how to sound. <laughs> you piece of work, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, two seconds away from getting his own fucking... Uh... Uh, change closet and then fucking Fox ain't got nerve to talk about. I didn't. You don't understand who who to watch? 
Nigga, Listen. you want to do some research? You fucking you see how he's throwing? Chatty's throwing. I'm just asking. I'm just trying to understand. I'm not dissing. I'm just saying, like, what's the appeal? So I understand it. Maybe I want to grift off of it. You know? I you should know, because, like, if you, you should be doing your due diligence because you're on Fox enough. You know what I mean? I he don't want to show Fox. Fox, he don't want to show. He don't want to show Fox. Listen, Fox, he don't want it. No, that's not want true. It. That's not true. You need to be in the film room like them Negroes, like Peyton Manning, fucking watching tape. <laughs> no. No, that's the last thing Fox needs is me coming up there as a clone of some shit that I'm not. They need me to bring that raw hip uh, hotep shit. That's what they need. That's what they need. They need that raw hotep. It's the hotep hour. Okay. And then the ratings are just sore. But if I come and do the cookie cutter shit like everybody else, they're going to fire me. That's not why they hired me. No, but you can put your own spin on it, man. Yeah. That's but you need to find out the demographic. Right. Mo Fax said, uh, Tucker's like the sitcom dad that got woke. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, the the the, um, the white Americans that have, that have become slowly disillusioned with America. Yeah, from how the military is going to how what they're teaching in school. He speaks to that white Americans. Mm-hmm. To the that white Americans sense. that look up and all of a sudden they see they're going to be a minority in in this country. Those white Americans that look up and say that. The white population is decreasing. Yeah. Who is that? I mean, that's any white person got some sense. They might not say it. A lot of times, white folks ain't gonna say shit. You know what I mean? Because they ain't gonna fucking try to fuck up their bag and shit like that. Oh. But they know. Oh, you're saying on the low they know, and they're not talking. They don't. They don't say it, but they're thinking like, "Yo, we've been like erased." Yeah. Hmm. And, t- and Tucker is the voice of them. Oh, yes. that's interesting. Yeah, so I guess he would be white Farrakhan. I told you, man. Yeah. Damn. Tucker's pretty impactful. Mm. But, you know, I do have a theory that I think another reason they got rid of him because, and I think um, I was reading a tweet, they got a Republican to speak on anonymity. They said it's good that Tucker's gone because we'll have less resistance to the Ukraine war. Wait, so Tucker was talking against the Ukraine war? Yeah. I think I like Tucker there. Cause everybody else, I remember I brought um I brought Seb Gorka on my channel and Seb was like, yo, we gotta go get Putin. And I'm like, oh shit, we do. But Tucker was against the, the the agenda. Hmm. I want to interview Tucker. I got some questions for Tucker. 